Hey you, what's up? So, my chair is being annoying, but you know what, that's, that's nothing new. But you know what's not being annoying? My new brush line. That doesn't really have anything to do with being annoying. But you know what, it's fine. I'm gonna roll with it. So, I have came out with five brushes that I love so, 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 so much. I had a brush line previously, but the brushes have improved immensely. Oh, I love that word. I'm like getting fancy with my words, you guys. Because I'm working on new products right now, yes I am and I'm so excited about them, but it's going to take a little bit to launch the first product that I'm working on. I wanted to launch something in the meantime, but I wasn't sure exactly what. So I, so I looked at my makeup drawer and I was like, okay, what am I having issues with right now? And I thought my brushes, like they're never perfect to me. They're always slightly flimsy. The the bristles will shed on me, sometimes they'll bend. Sometimes they just won't blend as well one day, and they'll work really well the other. So I wanted to make really, really, really good brushes. I definitely want to come out with more brushes, but these are the brushes that I use every single day, and I want to expand the line to something that can help you out. Because, girl, I know when you get ready in the morning to go to school, it's like, you know what, you don't really want to, like, hassle with bad makeup brushes or have a bad makeup day, you know what I mean? So, I want this line to really help you out. And these brushes pair amazing with the Freelance products, that's what I really designed them to go with, but they also go with other products as well. So the first brush that we have is the Stipple and Brin... Brind, yes. Is the Stipple and Blend brush. This is a brand new one because I use mine every day. It looks, you know, it looks loved. It has blush all over the bristles. But what I love about it is it's slightly angled. I find that when I apply blush, if it's all just the same level of bristles, it kind of packs it on and... <coughs> Which is never what I want. I always want it to be very blended, very soft, just like I'm naturally blushing. So this has an angle where it really blends out and it kind of goes with the shape of your face. Because your face is more inward here and then it goes out, so this angle really matches that and makes it look very natural. It's great for cream blush and powder blush. I use it for both. I love it so much. I think it pairs really, really well with the Frilliance Cream Blush. That's what I'm using today. And I feel like it looks very natural, but then again, very blushing. Also, if you're curious about any of these brushes and you're like, oh my god, what if they sell out like the makeup products and you really want to get them fast? Down below there's a link, they are live right now as I post the video. Not sure how long they will be available, but yes, hurry. The next product is my favorite highlighter brush ever. I love this brush. This is what I use to apply my highlight today. Very like intense, but I can also make it look very natural. They're duo fiber bristles, so they're just like the blush brush, and they're fantastic for really blending out product and making it very seamless. So I highlighted my nose with this and then also my cheekbones. And there's a tiny bit on my chin and a little on my cupid's bow. It is called the Pro Crease Brush because that is mainly what it is used for. But personally, I think crease brushes are the best for highlighting the face because they're the perfect size to hit the high points. The next brush is the Large Shader Brush. What I use this brush for is not really for eyeshadow. You can, I've definitely used it for eyeshadow. It's a really nice size for that, but it's also a perfect size for powdering the chin and really kind of concealing your acne. Because a lot of people are like, wow, if you have no acne, but sometimes when I remove my makeup, I'll have a few pimples and they're like, wait, were those, are, wait, were they there all day? And I'm like, yeah, you just didn't see them. Um, so what I do is I dip it in a powder and then I just lightly pack it over the breakout and it really gets right on top of the breakout because there's so many bristles in here. So it's not gonna miss that one spot because there's so many. It's like if you get a really big target, you know, you're most likely gonna make it somewhere on the target, which is the pimple, you know, the target's the pimple. Um, so, it's a really great brush to really pat in your powder products or your concealer. I also use it under the eyes because it's a perfect size for that. Um, and I'll throw this in my bag and just retouch up my powder throughout the day with this. It's a great size for that. The next brush is truly for eyeshadow. This is the small crease brush. I absolutely love this brush because it's a very small brush and it's very precise to get right in the crease. It blends out so seamlessly. It's one of my favorite brushes to use for a very like light brown. So if you want very light eyeshadow, maybe a little inner corner highlight and a little definition on the crease, this brush would be perfect for that because you can blend out your inner corner highlight with the tip and then you can also blend out the crease with the main part of the brush. It's great for eyeshadow. I love this brush. Eyeshadow is something that I feel like if you don't have a good brush, it will just get really chunky and sloppy and patchy because that happened to me a lot and then I was like you know what I'm gonna try a different brush and boom I found the perfect one that really gets perfectly in the crease 
Lastly, you know when you apply a little too much makeup that day and you're just like, wow, it kind of looks a little cakey or it just doesn't look the way you want it to? I love this brush so much. I'll take a little bit of powder. It can be translucent powder, any really powder, and I will just blend all over my face. It mattifies your face at the same time as blending the other products out. Um, and I love this for like mattifying the forehead. I think that's like actually perfect for it. I also use it for my powder. So I just like pack on my powder on my chin sometimes or a little on my forehead. Um, but this is just a great powder and blender brush. My little baby kabuki brush. I think it's such a cute little size too. Also, all these brushes are vegan, cruelty-free, hypoallergenic, and the bristles will not shed. Really good quality, and I love how they're vegan because a lot of brands, not going to call out names, but very popular brands use goat hair, which really makes me sad. Like, no, not goat hair. This one time I got a brush and it literally smelt like kind of goaty. But yeah, that is my brush line. It is going to be sold on FionaFrills.com like all my makeup products. So right now the makeup is restocked and the brushes, the new brushes are restocked. So go check them out if you want. But I love you guys so much. Keep blending away. Ooh, oh, but I love you guys so much. And